Well, every day more than 1,100 children go missing in the U.S., and finding them is up to all of us. Facebook's director of Trust and Safety, Emily Vatcher, joins me to talk about the importance of Amber Alerts to help in these situations, and specifically how the program works on Facebook. Emily, good morning to you. Good morning. So why did Facebook decide to get involved in this cause? We did this because we saw that people who use Facebook were already using it for this purpose. When a child went missing in their community, they would come together on Facebook and share the information about the missing child, which is a great start. However, that information wasn't making it to everybody who was potentially in the search area. So what we did about five years ago is we just created a more organized system to make sure that the right information gets to the right people at the right time after a child has been abducted. And so we all get those buzzes on our phone, you know, that say Amber Alert, you know, a child is missing, and, and it's always sad to see that. So how does it actually work on Facebook? It's a little bit different on Facebook. It's a little bit more robust. When you see the SMS message on your phone, you're not seeing a picture of the child. There's not a link to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children where you can learn more information. So when there's an active Amber Alert, we receive the information from the National Center. They're the national clearinghouse for all Amber Alerts, and they provide us with all of the relevant information. That could include a clothing description, maybe a vehicle description, a license tag number, any piece of information that could help the public find the child. We then prepare the alert, and we will send that alert in the Facebook news feed to anybody who uses Facebook who happens to be in the search area for the missing child. And so how many kids have been found or, or what's, what have the results been like uh, through this program? The Amber Alert system in general was launched all the way back in 1996. And since that time, 957 children have been safely reunited with their families as a direct result of an Amber Alert. And since we launched the program on Facebook a few years ago, we've spoken with numerous families whose kids have come home because somebody saw the Amber Alert on Facebook. So it's really remarkable. And so how does this speak to Facebook's overall goal, overall mission? I mean, obviously it's all about connecting people, but how does this fit into that? What's really important to us is allowing communities to come together at a time of great need. So of course we share videos of our children growing up and puppies and kittens, which is all fantastic. But this purpose is really special. This is when a child is at critical risk of death or serious bodily injury. That's the bar that's set by the Amber Alert program. And to be able to share this information with people who may actually be able to help is really important to us at Facebook. Contributing to a program that does such good in the community, it's really our pleasure and, and our honor to be able to do so. Certainly, I think it's a responsibility with such a big platform, so many people on it. Uh, the reach is, is, is really hard to uh, sort of grasp. So it, it is great that that's a program that you guys are doing. Thanks so much, Emily Vatcher, for joining us. Thank you. We'll be right back.